Okay, next game with a slick Mitch play um, play C4 for a change. Okay, he's um, going for King's Indian setup. Let's play D4. Ah, okay. Hmm, yeah, I don't know the Benoni stuff with D5 really well, so. Interesting. Okay, let's um let's try a sideline here. This is a somewhat annoying sideline for black. <clears throat> the problem is um yeah both C pawns are somewhat weak, but um, white is just a bit a bit quicker. In releasing the bishop, okay, he's going for complete um, symmetry here. Let's see, um, do I have some some possibilities? Maybe to capture on c6 and try to put pressure on c5. I'm not sure. Um, but take here knight a4, he has got knight b6. That This is annoying. He also might play knight d4. Or knight b4. Hmm. So what's, what's the plan here? If I take and play um, bishop d2 first, cover everything, and then try to apply pressure. Okay, let's try this. It's interesting, I think. Not sure if it's really good, <laughs> but um, okay, this is meant to protect the knight to to have b3. If he, um, for instance, um, okay, he's going for the direct exchange. Okay, I need to exchange, of course. C4 was hanging also. So now rook C1. Get out of the C file. And now the idea would be just, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I cannot castle, but I, I don't need to. Um, idea would be to apply pressure here. With knight a4, let's check. He can just. This is just a, an attack. I play rook g1. Okay, let's attack this pawn. He plays bishop d4 now, also to cover it. I have. Um, yeah, I also have e3, but. This would weaken the white squares really um, enormously. I don't want that. So if he plays bishop d4, I might just play bishop e3. And yeah, mm, so interesting now. Bishop e3. The only issue could be that he uh, he might I uh, might enter with the rook here somehow, but okay. Let's let's say let's say he he captures now on e three, f takes, and then maybe let's say rook somewhere rook d six to double the rooks. Then um, Hmm, I'm not sure. Rook d1, he's got rook d8. Hmm. Huh. Okay, choose, uh, choose this way. Okay, let's let's grab this. Of course, he can now um, also take on c5. 
to get opposite colored bishops. Oh, I'm stupid. He can just capture them. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, this is terrible. From a great position to... to <laughs> oh, I completely overlooked this. Wow. <clears throat> okay, now he just got the bishop pair. I have got nothing. Hmm. What a terrible <clears throat> oversight. Got uh, it, got Okay, at least a seven is hanging. Yeah, it's still it's still on bad position. The knight is uh, it's just a stupid piece here. Hmm. Okay. I'll try to get the king to e three. Ah, well, <clears throat> it's a stupid piece, but um, only with the rooks on. <clears throat> if I maybe somehow get rid of the rooks, then it's um, it's okay again. Yeah, at least I got got the king on a somewhat active position yeah it should, should be okay should be okay got the open file now maybe the, maybe this is okay at least I'm not um, considerably worse or something still um, to miss uh, taking on b2 was just terrible. Check. Okay. Time warning. Uh huh. Interesting. Interesting idea with Bishop G four. Didn't see that. Wow, this is very, Check. very inconvenient. Check. Oh, oh I'm much worse now. Also on time. Check. 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 H four mate. <laughs> on time well he completely lost the thread there 
all in all, <clears throat> rather bad game, I think. <laughs> yeah, not sure. After this one, maybe I'm um, I'm okay again with some counterplay. Yeah, this should be okay. Got the good rook on a7 and he's got somewhat weird king position. But uh, of course I completely overlooked that he can take on b2. This was just awful. Awful. Hmm. Well, not sure if it's a great position, but I cannot allow him to take on b2. It's just just bad yeah of course e3 is also an idea still but um, well looking at it now I'm not maybe maybe I have a completely different idea here maybe bishop c c3 and then e3 Hmm. Yeah, well, what I'd like to do is here to exchange the, the bishops, d2 and d4, and prevent him to, to enter with, with the rook on d2 or something. Then c5 is just, just gone, and it's a, it's a great position, because he still has got the, the weak pawns left and I've just got an extra pawn. But of course he's got the activity, so I need to be very cautious that he doesn't get uh, too much active play and um, I'm not sure maybe bishop c3 is also an idea he can uh, of course still play uh, rook d6 or something e3 captures knight captures yeah, I'm very weak on the on the on the on the light squares yeah <laughs> difficult yeah it should be it should be okay for black actually i think he's active enough um, i don't have i like i don't know maybe two moves or something to to get this all con consolidated the bishop is also of course somewhat annoying on h3 yeah difficult difficult position Okay, uh, next one.